hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is going to be quick and swift so this video is going to be about a product that i just purchased off of amazon that i've been seeing online for a minute if you notice my skin look a little bit brighter i know some people may say it might be because of the hair but it's actually a little brighter because and it's not my filter it's a soap that i've been using it's just to brighten your skin, not to whiten it. So I'm going to get the soap, and it's called Asante. And I'm gathering, I'm saying the name right. So if I'm saying the name wrong, please forgive me. So I was looking for a soap that just like brightens my skin, fixes those dark spots, you know, work on little tiny little acne I have in... I don't know if it'll do anything for the wrinkles. I doubt that. <laughs> so, this is Asante. Asante. So, this soap here is filled with papaya and honey. And it's from Thailand. Okay. So, I saw this on um, YouTube. And I figured out, go to Amazon and see if they had it and try it y'all see a fly just flew right past my head i went outside a minute ago and let a fly in my daughter coming from school she's gonna let me have it okay so and that's the name once again okay so um i'm gonna read a little bit about the soap bear with me because i always mess this part of my videos up when it gets to when it gets to reading let me show you one more picture you see the skin brightening not skin bleaching skin brightening so i prefer this picture here over that one so that's how she started out i guess and it went to this one i don't know it don't say which one is before and which one is after i have no idea but anyway Asante Herbal Thailand Lightning Soap. Deterring acne, wrinkles, and aging. It does not say skin bleaching. Let's get that clear. Okay. Its specialty provides essentials to the skin ingredients. Coconut palm oil, sodium hybrid, peroxide solution, Papaya extracts, Q10, vitamin C, and E, plus AHA. And that says that right there. Okay, so um, it's an international herbal soap. And it is, let's see. See how what is the net worth is 125 grams. I'll show that to you. And I'm gonna show you the soap itself and the little packet came in. And it might look a little weird because I just used it. It comes in this little netted little bag it's cute so i just finished washing my face with it so what i do is wet my hand and i touch the soap and i lather my hand with the soap i don't put the soap under the faucet and wet it i just i'm trying to reserve this bar as long as i can before ordering another one because i did order two bars for 20 dollars on amazon so i gave my daughter a bar and i'm using a bar so i just lather my hand with water then I touch the dry soap and I lather my hand with that and then I put the soap back into the bag and then back into the box. Okay, or either I hang it up on my mirror because I have like a little nail on my mirror that I hang up stuff with on the mirror. Like my little facial exfoliator and my, um, I hang my toothbrush on the bottom corner of the mirror in my bathroom. So it's in the box now. And um, this soap makes your skin so soft. You know how you feel when you go in and you shave your face with those little razors. 
the little the little um these right here these right here it feels just like you shaved your face with one of these and so i am just like i was i was just so surprised when i first did it that it made my skin so soft and it looked so healthy so i'm gonna add that soap to my skincare regimen so after I use that, I'm going to be using some um, toner by e.l.f. So I just finished using the the um, Asante, Asante, Asante. That's what I'm going to say, Asante, Asante. So I'm going to use some of this e.l.f. I'm just showing you guys my skincare regimen for today. So I got some cotton balls here. This is some toner. So I'm gonna add some toner to my skin today. And if you leave that soap on your skin too long, or if you leave that soap, uh, um, if you use that soap around your eyes, too close to your eyes, you will get some burning. You will. So I'm just telling y'all, do not put that soap close to your eyes. Go as close as here. Okay, stop right there. Do not go too close with that soap with your, to your eyes. Do not put it really on your lips because it will burn. And maybe because it's, maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be putting it so thick on my skin. And that might be why it's burning me a little bit but be careful using it use with caution now i watched tons of videos on this soap and it does work okay i i see the difference already in my skin okay and i like it but i would definitely not use it like right here where i'm rubbing at right now i would not use it right there i would use it on the bridge of my nose but not around my eye this close, no. Yes, I will use this toner right there. Yes, I would. So this is all a part of my skincare regimen. And then after I tone my skin, I'm gonna go in with my steamer. While my face is still a little, little wet, I have my little steamer here from um, Amazon. I just turned it on. And so I'm going to steam this face. I haven't steamed my face in a long time. Uh, a few days ago, I went in with my little razor and um, did uh, shaved my face. So I always keep, especially around my chin area, shaved definitely keep that shape because I see so many women women in their 30s with all this hair right here little, little pieces little strings of hair ladies please fix that please fix it you don't have to have that like that so I'm pretty sure y'all know that so I'm waiting for my machine to get ready so we can start I can start steaming my face it's getting warm and if you put the toner on and you feel like you still want your face to be a little wet just get your little spray bottle sprinkle a little bit of water on, on your face and then your machine should be getting warmed up And then you just go ahead and start steaming your face. Don't hold it up here. Hold it a little ways from your face. Mine's is down on my on my desk. And then I just let the steam just flow. I haven't steamed my face in a while. And if you want, you can put some essential oils in your steamer. And that'll help you just relax more like some lavender chamomile or something of that or that you know something of that fragrance something to calm you make it a little spa day for yourself like 
this weekend I might make you know have me a little spa day this weekend but this feels so good on the skin oh my goodness I love doing this because I was using um, Dove and all this other stuff on my face I love Dove don't get me wrong but I want to see if this Asante soap brightens my skin you know, to where I want it to be. Nobody trying to be light skin. I'm just trying to brighten it, not whiten it. Okay, it's a difference. Okay, so anything to help my skin youth, I'm going to use it. I'm going to do a tutorial on it. And that's what this is. This is the tutorial for this soap. Okay, y'all see that fly to keep flying around? I'm gonna have to wait till my daughter come home and let her kill him because she good at killing a fly. She won't even let us come in the house. Like we barely can, we come in that front door, we have to run in the house because she'd be like, shut that door! Like really quick, she'd be, shut the door! So yeah, she a little a bit much. She'll tell us quick, close that door, me and my boyfriend, but anyway. So guys, I have contracted COVID-19 again. Yes, for the third time, twice last year and once this year. I tested positive August 15th, 2022. It's been three days now I've been COVID positive. I actually believe I was COVID positive last week, but I wasn't sure because I did the home test and it said negative. And so now I'm at the point where I'm running fever, I'm having chills, I'm having all the symptoms. And you know I know the symptoms. So I got my butt up yesterday. No, I got up my butt up Monday and went to the, to the hospital, got tested. An hour later, got my results positive. Okay, so I've been out of work for, what, three days. And I only work three days a week, and that's full-time for me at the hospital. So I'm just at home, and I'm making use of my time instead of laying in bed, letting COVID soak in and just destroy my body. And I'm just sitting up doing things to help me and my self, my, not my self-esteem, but my help my mental by just doing some steaming my skin you know and doing whatever it takes to make myself feel better like laying in the bed is not good when you dealing with COVID because of the risk of blood clots PE pulmonary embolisms okay so I'm definitely one to get up out of that bed and move around when being sick because you you give pneumonia a chance to soak in as well you lay there, pneumonia attack those lungs. You get blood clots in the lungs. You get blood clots in the legs. You need to be sitting up in a chair, going to back and forth to the bathroom, going back and forth to the kitchen, doing something to help yourself. Please don't lay in that bed if you got COVID. Move around, please. If you don't remember nothing else I say out of this video, remember, if you got COVID, I don't care if it's Omicron. I don't care if it's... The first COVID, I don't care which COVID it is, move around. Okay? Move around. Don't let it get the best of you because I will recover from this and I will be back at work. No, it's, it don't matter where I caught it. What matters is I'm healing and I'll be back at work before you know it. So, back to this skincare. Woo, this feels so good. This feels good. Yeah, I like this hair color. Hmm. Me too. I love it. I got to get me a full, long wig this color. I'm I'm addicted to this color now. I, I just want it all the time. It's just I got to have the right wig. The color is perfect. The style and the wig is not. Yes. So, as soon as this finish, I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off. And then I'll go in and I'll massage my face and I'll moisturize it and massage it some more. 
So that's my skincare regimen. That's my skincare regimen, y'all. So I'm going to moisturize my skin. So I found out the best thing to moisturize my skin with is Johnson's Baby Lotion. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Yes, I'm going to set that to the side. Oh my God, that feels so good. So, <laughs> oh God. I still got my bracelet on from the hospital. So, um, my face feels so good. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and put some, some baby lotion on my skin. I'm just shaking up the bottle. I had went to Dollar General and bought some lotion, some baby lotion. So, you don't need a whole lot. And I always put some on while my face is damp. So I'm going to put some on. Johnson's baby lotion is not going to make me break out. If it's for a baby skin, imagine what it will do for yours. It's not going to make you break out. Okay, so I definitely want to work it into this forehead of mine. Because my forehead, trust me, I cannot stand this forehead. So as I'm putting it in, I'm just like massaging my skin. And then I just push it back. I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick about the wig giveaway. We we're approaching that date. The date I'm talking about August 27th wig giveaway. So I changed how we're gonna give the wig away. I changed like how I'm gonna pick the winners for the human hair wig. So I'm just Massaging my skin. Then I'm going to put some down here. Because I did put that Asante soap down here as well. I just want to moisturize my skin really well. So I don't really have my mirror over here. Let me grab it. Oh my goodness. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> so I want to repeat that step twice a day. Once in the morning, early, before work. You don't always have to do the steamer. That's just something personally I do. But when you're using this Asante soap, please remember, do not put it too close to your eyes or your lips. Do not put it like on top of your lips. If you put it on thick on your skin, the soap, do not put it on here because it'll start burning a little bit. I left it on for four minutes, four minutes, and I could feel it burning because I had it on my lips a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm, go I'm about to... Um, I want to exfoliate my lips. So I bought a little lip exfoliator. So I have here Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Shea Sugar Scrub. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my lips. And I know some places you can find um, exfoliators specifically for your lips. And this is my um my um exfoliator for my lips here i bought this from dollar tree so y'all get the dollar tree and buy one and then you could buy the little cap that you use for your toothbrush keep that on there so you won't you know have it just exposed and you know anything that goes in your mouth and on your lips you need to make sure you make keeping it clean 
sanitized. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna exfoliate my lips. And my daughter is good about this. She exfoliates them lips all the time. She is good about doing that. Okay, so just don't put it inside your mouth. And then you start exfoliating. Get all that dead skin off your lips. Lighten it. You brighten your lips up. And then you just continue this. And you, you can see like dead skin coming off your lips. If you have to keep your mouth shut, we don't want nobody getting strep from putting this in their mouth. You could turn it on both sides. Some people use a toothbrush. Okay, that should be enough. So what I do is I go in with my makeup wipe. And I wipe it off. And then I spray my mouth with clear water, clean water. And I can see where my the dead skin sticking up. some um I have all kind of chapstick Burt's bees all kinds I'm gonna use some of this this right here put on my lips let's see what's inside of here let's see let's see what's in here this is rose hemp and this is ruby kiss I think I got this free when I went to the beauty supply store my lips do feel moisturized. Now this look like some lipstick or something. Look at it. It's kind of reddish looking. I don't know if I want that on my skin. My lips. Just yet. So let me find some chapstick. So I found my little Vaseline cocoa butter so I'm gonna put some of that on my lips and they feel different already they do what a difference so make sure you clean this with soap and water if you got to clean it with dish detergent Dawn is good just clean it and put your top back on. And replace it. Don't use this thing for no six months. 
try to replace it every month. They only a dollar twenty five cent. I'm telling you, you gotta sanitize stuff nowadays. And when you finish with it, put it back in the case, put it back in the thing, and close it up again. Close it up again. And the um, sugar scrub I was using was the the um, Dr. Till Shea 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 Sugar Scrub Black Elderberry with essential oils. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I can't. I'm tongue twisted. Like I could read those big hard medical words, but simple words I can't read. Oh, my lips feel so good. Mm. And that's real. They feel good. Okay, guys. So let me tell you real quick about the wig giveaway. So since I haven't really had nothing, nobody but five people be interested in the wig giveaway after advertising it, I'm just going to um, put out a video on the 27th or the 26th. And under that particular video, the first one that comments under that video um, will be one of the winners for the human hair wig giveaway. And the second person that comment will be the winner of the second human hair wig giveaway. And everyone else that's under there falls under the second will win synthetic wigs. Okay? Everyone that falls under the second comment will win synthetic units okay that's just how i'm gonna do it and after this there will be no more wig giveaways on my channel ever again because i'm tired of trying to um be proactive and i get no no response no love no respect no nothing people just watch my videos and they just move on and i gotta learn that in this industry that you do not control your channel your channel controls you okay so i try to control it but it's just not working in my favor so anything in this video i'll list in the comments everything that i used um if you guys want um you know you can um so let me just take a little quick screenshot because people will be wanting to know what did you use and um And I just want them to know that I use some of the best soap because I'm telling you, some of the best soap. And this sugar scrub also has orange oils and an avocado. Y'all see that? Y'all see all of that that's in there, sugar scrub? Yeah. Shea butter, orange oil, and avocado oil. And it comes with black elderberry with essential oils, Okay. Y'all better get some of this out of Walmart. This is my daughter's and she don't even know that I'm using it. I gotta get me one. It smells so good. Mm. And also, you can use this on your face. Be careful around your eyes. Okay? On your face. And then you can apply this on your face. And then you can do the lip scrub and you can steam your face, do it in whatever order you like. It's a good combination for good skincare. And you know, the Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion, I like using that on my skin. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm a little senior citizen, so hey, it is what it is. All right, guys, thank you all so much. And I promise I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Seems like I've been sick for the last two years. And then I just lost my mom in June from COVID. So, yeah. Seems like I've been sick for the last two years. And I'm still recovering from the first COVID I caught in May. Then I caught the second COVID last July. And now it's August. And I'm here again. COVID will not take me out because it's really trying to claim my life. It really is. And if something happened to me, y'all just know I love each and every one of y'all. I appreciate y'all. for All the time y'all give me here on my channel. I, I'm telling you. It's been 
a grueling two years. All right, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned.